want to prepare ourselves for the mighty man of God to bring forth the word. I have some of you are wondering kind of what qualifications do you have to have to be a youth pastor. And that's actually found in the same as the responsibilities for a bishop or an overseer. Praise the Lord. Much like any other position uh, in the church found in 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 13, or Titus chapter 1, verses 6 through 9, that youth pastor must be above reproach. A husband of one wife, if married, temperate, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not given to drunkenness, gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money, managing his own family well, having obedient, respectful children, not a recent convert, and having a good reputation with outsiders. Amen. Amen. The position of youth pastor is not explicitly mentioned in scripture. It has developed over the years as churches have become especially cognizant of the need to discipline and nurture young people, particularly teens. Since the 1960s, the pressures on teens from societal and cultural influences have become so enormous that the role of youth pastor and the development of youth departments in churches have become strongly emphasized. At the same time, the spiritual needs of youth are no different from the needs of adults. Young people need the pure spiritual milk that will enable them to grow into mature Christians. And youth leaders or pastors must use the word of God to teach, rebuke, correct, and train in righteousness so that those in their care may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Studies consistently show that if a person does not come to faith in Christ at an early age and or is not instructed in the Christian faith while in the formative years, it becomes dramatically less likely that he or she will come to faith in Christ and or spiritually ma spiritual maturity as an adult. While a youth pastor or minister should not be seen as replacing the parents as a child's primary spiritual influence, having a godly, loving, and caring youth pastor can, be a, can have a tremendous <coughs> spiritual impact. Perhaps 1 Timothy 4 and 12 applies equally to the youth pastor as well and to the young people they are shepherding. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. Amen. Congregation, we ask that you rest your seats as we bring to you New Bethel's own youth pastor, Elder John Harris, as he brings forth the word. Let's find us and preach the word. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. We also give honor to our pastor in this church. Yeah. 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 Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. And to the pastor of the Elam Church in Atlanta, yeah. who is absent today, our evangelist Embry. Yeah. Assistant pastor of the Eden Church, Atlanta, who is gracious for the presence. Assistant pastor, Emily. Yeah. To our minister, Johnson. Yeah. He is still in the wind. God has proven that he still can heal. Amen. Speaking of healing. She is healing us today yes, yes. as we watch her being healed. Yes. Our own minister, Tracy Cobb, who yes. we miss so much. Yes. To the adjutant of our leader, our great deacon, Deacon Johnny Cobb. We thank him, yes. him and his wife. Yes. They surprised us by showing us she might be a little preacher. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And to my wife in her absence, yeah. she's out of town this weekend, and yeah. she promised she would be watching by a live stream. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll give her the lady to be I need somebody to wipe my brow. <laughs> and to my mother. Yeah. Hey, I'm a youth because my mother is here. Amen. And I thank God so much for her. She is going through battles physically. And we go in our secret closet to pray. Sometimes it takes a while 
for God to publicly display the answer of your prayer. And today he is publicly displaying the answer to my prayer by bringing my mother here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not only that, God is, is spoiling me even more by bringing my brother here. Yeah. All I can do is plant seeds. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And God will give the increase. Yeah. And I pray that he will continually increase my brother. And one day he may have the nerve and the courage to step on the devil's head and say, I want to be a member of New Bethlehem. Oh, To enjoy the, the immaculate blessings of God upon me, he brought my son in with me today. Praise oh. God. I've been planting seeds here for a long time. I love this man. Yes, sir. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Yeah. And, uh, years, I preached to him, begged him to come to God. And sometimes all you can do is speak the word. And this morning when he responded, he said, I'll go. Oh my God. All right. Come and get me. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I'm thankful to God. Yeah. 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 I don't know if he's going to come next week, but uh, but the first step is the important. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. And I give honor to our youth today. Yes. Let's get a youth for heaven. Yes. Pastor, look at your thought. Yes. Yes. See them in the, the youth choir. Yes. Mighty King Kids dance. Yes. You heard them read the Old Testament and the New Testament yes. scriptures. Yes. Seen them do the liturgy. And it reminded me of when I was young. <coughs> they would ask us to do something, to, to read a scripture, or I remember the first time singing in a choir. And as I was sitting here watching, I am so glad and so proud to see our young folk participating in church. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd rather keep them dancing in church than some sleazy club. Yeah. I'd rather see them holding each other. I see them working together. I am reminded of Alexander Dumas' novel, The Three Musketeers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they had a motto. All for one and one for all. And I would entreat us today to take up that motto. That the elder, the elderly should take hold of the young. And the young, the elderly. And it should be all for one. Yes. And one for all. Yes, Isn't that all right? Yes, sir. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice? Yes, yes. Amen. It could be the other way around. Mm -hmm. The more we look at TV and the news, the more we see the bad news coming down on our youth. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you something, young folk. The devil is real. Yes. Yes. He is seeking to devour them. Yes. Because if the devil could stop the youth, there will be no future New Bethel right, House of Prayer. Right, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. If they could detour the youth from coming here and going somewhere else, we will shut down. That's right, that's right. Behold our new, our next deacons. Behold our next ministers. Behold our next prophets. Behold our next pastors and first ladies and prophetesses. But right now, we must take care of them. Yes. 
Yes. We must nurture them. Yes. And nourish yes. them. Amen. So that they can become God wants them to be. Yes. Right now, we are stewards over them. Yes. Amen. 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 Today, I want to read from our text. First Timothy, chapter 4. Is everybody all right? Because yes. hopefully, we're going to get to see the youth dance again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I ain't never said five, six, seven, eight. No. <laughs> Pastor, don't mind. Go ahead, Go ahead do it. I may take one of his favorite sayings. All right. So, 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 brother, warm up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I may go Pentecostal on you. Hey, 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 hey. I may just remind you. Oh, hey, hey, hey. shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits mm -hmm. and doctrines of devils. Well. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, hey. having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good. Nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Nursed up in the words of faith and of good doctrine. When to thou has attained, but refuse profane and old wise fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things. Having promise of the light that now is and of that which is to come, this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. Therefore we both labor and, and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, Especially those that believe. These things command and teach. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. And that's going to be my focus verse. Let no man despise your youth. You see, it is so easy to despise the youth. And usually people who messed over their youth are the ones who despise youth. And as adults, we 
got to be careful that we don't despise our own child in their youth. Saying things like, oh, you ain't going to be nothing. Your father wasn't nothing, your grandfather wasn't nothing, and you ain't going to be nothing either. Let no man despise thy youth. What is despise? That somebody can have the nerve to despise another. And what is youth? That you should be the subject of someone's despise. Some have the perception that youth are lazy. Youth don't listen. They're not responsible. And they're disrespectful. And in some cases they are. But are they to blame? Is there any responsibility to blame? Should they share the blame alone? Because the youth in their innocence seek the good life. Yeah. The youth just don't know the journey they must take to get it. Yeah. Yeah. The youth don't know that the devil is in that path. Yeah. That's right. The youth don't know the power and the effectiveness of prayer. The youth don't know about that power Power, wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. And if we allow them to go uncultivated in the world, yeah. they begin to, 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 to be deceived and fooled by the beautiful fruits of sin. Amen. Amen. They'll begin to partake of things shouldn't partake of. Do you know how, how hard it is to be the youth? I'm talking to the older people. You know how much fun you had? You remember the choices you were making? Thinking that they're good choices? Fussing with your parents? All these things change. You don't know what you're talking about, Mom. It ain't like it was in the 40s and the 50s. They still dancing. They still drinking. They still doing what they do. Oh, what, what, what you mean nothing has changed? You don't understand. And so we find reason to despise our youth. Up in the church, they find the little seeds of God. They find for the first time love being exhibited to them. Now, there's a chance that in our because when I was growing up, I was loved in church, Amen. they taught me everything they could. And I still strayed. But if you train up a child in the way the child should go, when that child grows up, it knows where to go. I didn't turn out that bad. I started out in the Sabbath. Yes, sir. Looks like I'm going to end up in the Sabbath. I started out in church. And it looks like I'm going to end up in church. Right. But in between that time, well, the devil got in the way. Well, come on now. And I'm telling you, we need to let the young folk know who the devil is yeah. and what the devil is. Yeah. Yeah. Because see, they are precious souls. Yeah. Yeah. And the devil don't care because the devil understands and he knows that if I get the young people and the despising of you, you, you hear something like, oh man, you go to church and y'all shouting and dancing. I don't go to church like that. But it's all right to go to the club. Amen. And drop it like it's hot. All right. Because that's all right, ain't it? Yes, sir. It's all right to get up in there and 
And act like you have found the, 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 the woman of your dreams at some bar. <laughs> Drinking and everything else. Two o'clock in the morning, you and her exchanging pleasantries. <coughs> Not even knowing that you're talking to the devil. Not even knowing that you're being seduced by the devil. So the Bible says that the Spirit speaks expressly. In latter times, they're going to fall from the faith. How are they going to fall from the faith, Elder? By taking heed to seducing spirits. That's right. Have you ever been seduced by the devil? No, no. Have you ever been seduced by the devil, man? I, 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 I ain't about to think about something. I'm talking about, have that devil ever sat by you and rubbed your hands and put her face against your face and put his face against yours and touched your knee and rubbed your neck and kissed you all gently up or down your face? Have you ever been seduced by the devil? Here in time, where well, are you fine? Are you handsome? Oh, I like the way you act. I like the way you talk. Oh, and you fall for it. Yeah. Come on now. The more that they, the more they stroke you, the more you fall away from the faith of God. Growing up in church, growing up in church, but falling down in the street. Being raised in the congregation, but being lured by the alleyways. Somewhere that you where you don't want to be. Yeah. And you don't find that out till later on. That's right. Have you ever called this girl an angel? Yes. And found out she was the devil? Oh. Wow. Have that guy ever promised you everything he can get you? Well. And gave you nothing but heartache and pain? All right. Talk yeah. Did he promise you the moon and the stars, but gave you hell and hot water? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. That's what our youth got to look forward to if we don't help them out. That's right. That's right. Seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Yes. You teach them one thing in the street, teach them another thing. Yes. 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 Try your best. Sometimes we act like we don't even care. We got to let them, but you ain't got to let them do nothing. That's right. Amen. You got to train up a child in a way to go. You don't say, oh man, they go, you got to let them grow. You got to know what you do. You better not. That's right. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Talk to me. Some of them been spoiled. Rotten. There's nothing you can do with nothing rotten. That's right. If it's spoiled, you throw it away. That's right. If it's rotten, it's no good. That's right. Amen. But it's your job to look at the the the, 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 the uh, uh, inscription on the milk. It says it's going to expire right. May the twenty third. Right. That's right. That's right. May the twenty eighth. You ain't got no business pouring that milk in no cereal. Right. 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 And they say, "Oh, the milk is bad." No, you're bad. Oh. You ain't paying attention. Right. That your child is expiring right before your very eyes. Yeah. Oh, to me. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Three years later, they on drugs. Yeah. Hard and you don't want him in your house. Don't knock on the door. Don't let nobody despise you of your youth. All of a sudden you talking bad. My, he must be like his father. He's like his mother's side of the family. Because it's real. Get out there and they enjoying themselves. And you raise them in your house. And one day we have to let them go out into the world. Amen, amen. You know one of the most difficult periods for a, 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 a child, their first traumatic experience is the first day of school. That's their first traumatic experience. When you've been raised in the house all their life, and all of a sudden one day they're like five years old. Yeah. And you put them on some clothes. <laughs> and you're walking or riding. And they wonder, what's going on here? Yeah. Wow. I'm dressed up. All of a sudden, they take you to this building. Mm -hmm. A whole bunch of kids running around. And they say, oh, what's going on here? Yeah. And you walk them up to that school. Oh, they hold on your hand. Everything is fine. Right. And you take them to that classroom. And you turn and you say, okay, I'll come back and get you later. <laughs> 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 right. For five years, we've been in the park. 
You don't need me here with all these people. All these little folks my side. Right, right. And one big person? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> you better wait 10 years from now. When I'm 15, drop me off. Huh? And you leave them. Yeah. And when you leave, they say, <laughs> and you don't say, I'll be back. Crying, and I don't know who hurts the worst. Yeah, yeah. You or them? Yeah. Don't tell it all. Because yeah. the parents walking away saying, yeah. "I hope, Lord, yeah. my God." And oh, now we pray to Allah. Please, Lord, don't let nothing happen to my baby. Lord, yeah. yeah. oh, please don't. This is the first time out, and the child sitting in that trauma time. Oh, Lord, I he praying, she praying. I hate mommy. I hate daddy. <laughs> Because their first experience without their protection is beginning to exist. Right, yeah. right, that's right. And then little Bobby saying, You ugly. Come on, 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 Come What's going on when they take my pencil? I'm ugly. <laughs> the teacher putting symbols on the board. Hey, putting a hand on the chest saying, Pledge of Allegiance to God. Yeah. To the United States of America. Uh, what's going on here? Right, right, right. I don't like this place. Yeah. I need daddy and mommy. Yeah. And all of a sudden, some little teeny weeny imp. Yeah. <laughs> There's always an imp. Yes, always. And the little teeny one says, uh, you, you this and you that. And they hitting you and you sitting there saying, man, what's going on here? Where did my mother and father take me? Mm. This is the beginning yes. of the despising of youth. Right. And later on, you come and get them. You come is like Jesus coming. <laughs> <laughs> they see you. Yeah, yeah. Man, and they came with you. And they run into y'all and they say, Woo! Lord, Daddy, Mom, I'm glad I got through this day. Go home and you say, What y'all doing? You say, Ah, oh, got a little bit of it. And the next one you do, you say, Hey! <laughs> you taking me again? <laughs> what I do? <laughs> that I got to go back to them people I don't know. This one boy keep calling me ugly. Another one say, I'm, I'm, I'm dirty. Another one hit me. I'm not going to take my lunch. And it's an ep in there, daddy. <laughs> he keep licking his tongue at me and balling up his fist. Go ahead. Yeah. Am I telling on myself too much? You're talking <laughs> What I'm saying is, they begin to grow. And the things that you taught them was right is challenged. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. And That's some right. people can teach wrong better than you can teach right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Some people can 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 prove that wrong ain't that wrong. That's right. That's right. That's right. To you. That's right. Oh man, and they sound just like the devil. Mm -hmm. man, what you mean? You can't go up the hill, man. You can turn thirteen now, and you think you something now. Yeah. Because you're aging with a teen. Right. You so used to being 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, now all of a sudden you're 13. Yeah. And you're 14. Come on now. You begin to find out some things about your body oh. that wasn't there. Oh. Oh. Take your time. Man, I didn't like Lisa three years ago. What you do over the summer? Have you ever, have you ever had that 12 year old summer? Sixth grade, you go home and, and the, the summer goes away and you go to the seventh grade and when you get there you say, Oh, Lisa, I ain't you. I'm doing my grandmother house all summer long. You have your head and grown. Your dressing got short. You got tall. Girl, some around your eyes. Free. You got some black stuff right here. Oh, and you're lifting up with that color? <laughs> the despising of the youth is taking place. The devil is beginning to creep in now. Yeah. And our teachings about the Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. The seed is there. But don't forget now, uh, uh, 88 people in school have been teaching about the devil's way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So also having a party this weekend. I, I can't go. I'm going to church. Come on. 
on, man. Come on, we ain't gonna be doing nothing. Come on, man. Lisa gonna be there. She, she been asking about you all week long. She said you knows everything about her. Man, I can't hear that. Man, look, look, tell your mother and father, uh, come on, I hope that we go on to church. Saturday, so but we need for you to come over on Friday night to spend the night. Come on, come on, Guess what? And all that time you raise your child. And the seducing spirit began to come. And now the battle in their minds is taking place now. That's how serious it is. Yes, now your child comes and say, hey, Daddy, Mommy, can I go over to Rick's house? They go to church Saturday. They go to church on the Sabbath too. <laughs> Yeah, but they, man, come on, man, they're going to have this youth meeting, man. And I want to be there, you know, and, and bring them and say, they do all this to make, please. Yeah. That anointed field, parent, Holy Ghost field, fire baptized. And that child had tears in their eyes and they plead their case. Yeah. We ain't going to do nothing. You'll never let me do anything. Yeah. <laughs> you make me sick. And you say, I'm going to let you go this one time, boy. Do you know how, how dangerous one time is? That's right. That's all it takes. Huh. That's all it takes. Even that I didn't bite one thing but one time. It ain't take but one bite of sin. And the nutrients of sin begin to Jesus. go through their bloodstream. Come on, man. Begin to work on their nerves. Their muscles begin to contract. Their eyes begin to widen. And their minds were poisoned slowly. And he goes to the party. And he sees Lisa. Let me find Lisa in this page because she even sees something else. Lisa. Well, for you girls, maybe it's Troy. All right. Go to the party and Lisa's Lisa's skirt got shorter. Or either she got taller. Or the heels got a little louder. And the music has played. And man, Rich, hey man, we enjoying ourselves. See, I told you we're gonna have a good time. Here you go. And you remember this, I don't worry about that, man. It's all right. They drink wine in church. Are we talking about the devil, man? The spirit speaks expressly that they shall depart from the faith by taking heed to a seducing spirit. Drink a little wine, you get a little warm. And Lisa see you drinking. She come on and say, Well, you cool. Huh? Oh, and you you blush and yeah, yeah, you know I, I party all the time. <laughs> you talking about girl, you ain't doing nothing, huh? You ain't, you ain't doing nothing, girl. What? What? <laughs> isn't that funny? No, 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 no. It is, but it isn't. <laughs> because the despising of the youth is taking place. With Luther Van Gross in a nice cognac. Yeah, look cool. Uh -oh. <laughs> and before you know it, the night is ending. And my favorite saying, I used to always sit back in the day, huh, have a glass of Chardonnay with a girl in the negligee listening to Chardonnay. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing that I was at the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. No, no. <laughs> this heifer's in the middle of the party. Uh, like the tree was in the middle of the garden. That's right. Just have to get everything dangling off of her. Beautiful. She smells good. Look good. Ooh. Feel good. Yes. And tell you we're going to do some good. All right. <laughs> Being seduced by the doctrine of the devil. You see, we are in a narcissistic society now. All the social media is all about me. I'm seeing your Instagram. 
to show you pictures. Come on now. So you can you can you can send a a a, a, a list of photo to somebody in France. Wow. They can send one back. And you can so-called fall in love with somebody that you seen on a on a picture or some money sites you go on to. Yep. That's where you love them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Never met him in person. I got a friend who was a grown man. Wow. Yeah. Always tell me, man, 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 I like this girl here. Yeah, let me tell you, I ain't never not with her though. I ain't 50 years old. <laughs> but being seduced like this begin to change our characters. So a little sip of the wine. A little shaking in your hips. Leads to a little smoke and a little dope. Smoke a little coke. Mess around with a couple of girls because the doctrine of the devil is if the young guy got a couple of girls and got his thing going on, he's a man. Come on now. Huh? He got the prettiest girl in, in town. They fucking over him. And that cat think he's the slickest thing going. I'm talking about the guy who was raised up in church, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before you know, he honed that number behind it. Nice car. I don't mean nothing by it, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> but then on the way to being cool, you get addicted. Now you're in a snare. Yeah. 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 You didn't see the trap. That's why it's called a snare. You ain't seen it. What you saw was that the tree was good to eat. Yes. Yeah. Like, what you seen that it was it looked good to the eyes. Yeah. And it might have been all right for the flesh. Yeah. It wanted to give you a good reputation. And you partook. Twenty years later. 20 years later, you can't stop drinking. The drugs is wearing you out and your family out. You have unwanted children. See, you were cool at first. You had all the girls. Now you got all the children. And you don't want any of them. But still, don't let nobody despise your youth. Don't let nobody say that you can't turn it around. That's right. Amen. That's right. See, because, see, then all of a sudden you begin to look at your children. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah. That young lady who uh, used to be your princess, Come on now. and now she's your devil. Yeah. And when she called, you cuss. Come on now. And she calling me again. <laughs> there was a time when you sat by the phone and watched it till it rang. Mm -hmm. Well. And it was her, you, oh boy, you fight your mother over her. Yeah. Now phone ring, you beg your mother to answer it. <laughs> <laughs> and she reminds you of the hardship that she's going through with your three children. Wow. She reminds you of the hardship that she's going through with your child. Mm -hmm. She reminds you of the, of, the, of the despisement that she has grown and, and she has fixed on her own children. She's angry. So she tell us, turkeys, shut up! Mm -hmm. Just like your daddy. Mm -hmm. Shut your mouth up! Talk Pop. Talk. Despising the youth. I was coming from the baseball game on the subway. And this young lady, everybody on me now, this young lady had two kids. One little boy and had one little stroller. And that little boy, he was enjoying himself on that so He was running from one end to the other. And every time the subway would stop, he would fall and he'd be on his knees slide. And he's smiling. And the mother said, get up, boy, get up. And the boy, he'd get up, and she grabbed him, and once that subway boy, he boom, and he gone again. Oh, he running, and he running. And finally, her stop was coming. She said, come on, boy, I'll stop with the next one. Man, that subway 
pull off. And he running. And when they stopped Cade, when she let him go, they, they grabbed the stole and he slid all the way down. <laughs> and she tried to go get him and the door shut and she missed her stop. Man. Oh. Big deal is it? When she hit this boy, My God. when she turned around, and I mean, I came from the baseball game, and Bryce Hopper wasn't swinging that hard. My God. When she came to me, let me tell you something. Man, when she came around, slapped this boy, I was so scared. I sat down too. I think she's gonna slap me now. <laughs> but this occurs when the youth are despised. And she was angry because of the decisions and choices she was making when she was a youth. That's right. That's right. See, the fruit of disobedience shows its power in sin. And the sin, when it begins to rear its ugly head, if the parents ain't right, you might lose your head. That's right. wow. mm -hmm. So what do we do for our youth? The Bible is teaching us that we got to teach them how to speak to one another. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yes, sir. Our and how do you do it by, by having our conversations fruitful? Yes, See, because if, 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 if you act one way in church and get home and, and then your child will say, oh, you just act like that in church. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Come on, Dad. Go ahead. You faking, Mommy. You faking, Daddy. When you try to correct them, they won't listen to you. That's right. So we can't let nobody despise our youth. And, and just because the young folk make a few mistakes, it ain't our duty to cast them out. That's right. That's right. Because if you cast them out, who going to take them in? Oh, you got a devil up the street. Who will tell your daughter or son, hey, girl, look, hey, baby, look, baby I, I love you for real. I love you for real. Look, don't even worry about it. You don't know about it. Don't worry about her. Don't let nobody talk us out of the love of our parents. Your mother, she's talking about anything. She don't know what you be going through out here. Some old cat out here. And nowadays our, our youth watch so much on TV that you know they, they have all these celebrities and role models. Yeah. I think my brother will tell me something about uh uh what's the guy name? Jay-Z and, and Beyonce and, and all this old stuff and this Illuminati stuff. That ain't nothing but, but this symbol that comes from your heart, but but that symbol ain't nothing compared to the devil. Right. <laughs> Saying the word Illuminati ain't nothing. The devil is real. Yes, he ain't dealing with no triangles and symbols and stuff what you wear it. The devil will get in your heart, man. And he will ruin you. Yes, yes. Amen. I know what I'm talking about, man. I had three prostitutes. Somewhere along the line, they were little teeny weeny babies and their mothers was loving them. What happened then from the from the from the cradle to the corner? What happened? From a father to a pimp. What happened? From drinking milk to drinking everything on the, on, on, in the liquor store shelf. What happened? Don't let nobody despise our youth. Amen. It's up to us to protect them. Yes. So when we see them shouting and we see them dancing, we should shout and dance with them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, are you ready? Uh, I feel like I'm going to say six, seven, eight. Well, we got to wake up little young Ian over there. Huh? Talk about it. Yes. Corey smile a little bit. Because when I see them shout and dance in the house of the Lord, it brings me great joy. Because we got to keep them away from the club. That's right. Yes. Yes. See, we got to make sure that they love shouting and dancing in here. Because if you don't let them do it here, they're going to do it somewhere else. Right. And they won't be shouting to the glory of God. They're going to be two stepping to the glory of the devil. That's right. They won't be taking communion. They'll be doing something else. Come on now. So what do we do? We see, we can't despise the youth. It's the future. 
Look at New Bethel. Look at New Bethel House of Prayer. I'm quite sure that some of you young boys over here might think about being a preacher. Some of y'all want to be a preacher when y'all grow up, ain't that right? I know, I know the mighty one be a preacher. Uh, he can't help it. Grandfather was a preacher. Father was a preacher. Great great grandfather was a preacher. I see this. And what we have to do is cultivate it. What we have to do is, is, is hone them skills for them. We can't be ashamed to sit down with our child, read the Bible to them, and explain what's going on. We can't be, be ashamed of correcting them because we, we think that they're going to be mad at us. Let it be made. Yeah. When you go in there and in the bed that I brought and working for you, and eat some of my food, oh, you get over it. Yeah. You get over it. When you need some shoes on your feet, you get over it. Yeah. Don't be afraid to correct them. Because if you don't correct them, the devil going to destroy them. Because then you can do the mighty work of God. See, the elder, older folk can't do as much. 
watch as the young person right, going. Right, right, right. But if there ain't nobody else left but the old folk, that's then we're going to see the old folk power of God work. That's right. That's right. I'm talking about man in the hands of the young folk yeah. is healing yeah. and yeah. raising other dead. Yeah. And I'm talking about, I'm talking about raising other dead that's walking the zombies here. Uh -huh. We gotta go down to the cemetery. Mm -hmm. Find nobody dead. <laughs> you go right here on the corner of Belvedere. Yes, sir. Who wants to dead for? And if you look around up in here, there's a few dead up in here. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if we don't raise them, they won't be raised. That's right. That's right. Remember that you created now, like you got a chance. Because if not, if you don't come in here riding in the glory of God, you'll be riding in the back seat of some car. Uh -huh. No telling what's going to happen back there. No telling. No telling where that, where that ride going to take you. No telling. I'm telling you young people, by the grace of God, call on. Give God a chance. See what he's going to do. Just for you. Just for you. How many young folk really do believe in God? Can you trust them? Can you trust them? And I say, well, I'm talking about trusting them. Can you resist the devil? See, because if you resist the devil, the devil is free. That's right. See, you can't raise your hands out and believe in God, but won't resist the devil. You can't hold your hand up to the Lord and have your feet walk in the path of the devil. But I believe that the young folk really, really do believe. And I believe if we allow them to be examples, they will be examples. We act like they can't make no mistake. We, we, we get up and we testify, yeah, you know, I ain't perfect. Every chance you get, despise the youth. Young people, we can't let nobody despise you of who you are and what you are. But we can encourage you to walk in the light. Man, if you walk in the light, you'll be able to see clearly. Don't walk in the darkness and call the darkness light. Right. That's right. And begin to like evil so much that you call evil good. And then good evil. See, because some people think that ain't no good thing to come to church. Man, I'm going to wait till I get old. Man, I'm trying to enjoy my life right now. And some young folk begin to start thinking that they, they can't enjoy them, their lives in church. Some begin to, th to think that it's a waste of time because God won't come to them immediately. But it's up to us to teach the young folk patience. To teach them what the word of God means to them. Uh, when we were having our little Bible uh, challenge on last night. I noticed that we can study a little bit more. We have the enthusiasm. Oh, I mean, let me tell you something. They were enthused. They were so enthused that uh, you know, their minds were just running real fast. But that showed me that we have an opportunity here to develop some wonderful young folk. Yes, sir. Yes. And we have the people in here yes. to help them. Amen. We have professionals in here yes, who can help with our people. We don't have no bunch of dumb people in here. No. We have some very, very intelligent, Holy Ghost filled people in here. Right, man. And we should take that opportunity that God has given us and teach our young folk. And if we do this, 
can almost guarantee by the Spirit of God that God will bless us with their fruit. Amen. Amen. Because it's serious. The devil is trying to destroy these young folk. And I don't know if some of us, if all of us are going to make it. The truth is, I don't know if all of us are going to make it through the journey. Because the young folk have so many things. I, I, I mean, I don't know what it's going to be like 10 years from now. So we got to work now. And it's my prayer that I'm trying to find out about each and every last one of them. And find out where their gift is. And let them utilize their gift in the church. I didn't know this. this, this is a, man, she sings her butt off. Can she sing? The new choir sound beautiful. I think it was their first time, right? Yes. First time ever seen you. Yes. And we got to keep this going. Yes, that's right, that's right. And maybe we can get the, the four Supremes over there. The, <laughs> they own it. We know they can, we know they can dance. I want to be some of their dance and song. All right, all right, all right, all right. And if, and if we can get the, 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 the young men to help out, right. so that they can feel like they something up in here. Yes, they are. Right. Yes. And we get them to do something, they put them to work up in here. Put them to work. If we put them to work up in here, you know, we're going we to see some things out there. Ain't that right? That's right. That's right. And even our, our uh, older youth, our, the teens and young 20s who think they probably ain't no youth. I ain't, I ain't no youth. Come on, man. Yes, you are. As long as my mother's sitting there, I'm the youth. That's right. That's right. And we can get them also to develop them. I mean, I, I was in the world for a while, but I came back from the church. I think I was about 24 years old. I came to the church and I started cleaning up. I was, I was just clean. That's all I was doing. Every Wednesday, Bishop Solomon had me and two other guys who were sweeping and mopped the church. And, and I, that was good for me because I think, well, I need to do something. If I get on that street, don't tell them what's going to happen. And I will clean up the church, but then before you know it, I <coughs> usher. I usher for a while. I like that because, you know, I ain't had to say nothing. <laughs> Walk to my seat. <laughs> 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 then Sister Hicks, Joy Hicks, made a mistake one day and asked me to be in the choir. I said, for what? <laughs> I do my lip sync in the choir. I said, oh, man. Brother John, they ain't gonna hear. I know they ain't gonna hear me. They ain't gonna make no sound. <laughs> so I was in the choir a little bit. And we had a Eastern Division meeting one time, and Mr. Solomon asked me if there was with him. Bishop Bradner called me and said, "Well, look, we want to make you a local deacon." And I said, "What am I gonna have to do?" So he pulled this whole list. I said, "Man." He was better off when I was cleaning the church and the usher. I ain't got to be responsible for anything. So I was a little deacon and head deacon, uh, deacon Buck Knight. And he was teaching me everything what to do. And the only thing I liked to do was take my grandfather's briefcase and carry it. That's all I wanted to do. And when he came, I grabbed the briefcase. I appreciate it because my thing was well, everything you know, old man, I taught you. So, so, you know, and then one day, a couple years later, I'm, I'm sitting in the house and my grandma said, Mr. Solomon, I want to talk to you. I said, what do you want to talk to me about? I said, no, nobody. He, he said, he want to talk to me. I said, okay, well, give me his number. He said, no, but he's on his way over here. I said, what is Mr. Solomon over here? I barely understood anything he said. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Solomon came on me, sit down, he said, son, Lord, I've been dealing with you. I'm sitting there, I said, you can't put me back to church, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Son, you, you don't know, you can't let your left hand know what your right hand know. I said, my son, what is this old man talking about? Don't let my, my left hand know what my right hand know. I'm like, what are you saying? He talked to me, and I'm just looking at him. What are you talking about? He said, I've been dealing with me. And you're going to preach your first trial sermon next Sabbath. <laughs> <laughs> I said, me? 
Yeah, he's up here. Listen to you and other. You know, because we used to go fishing. And we go fishing together. And then, of course, my grandfather wanted me to read the Bible to him and explain stuff to him. And so, Bishop said, well, you're going to preach your first time? I said, oh, you don't know. And as I think of that, I'm thinking of it today. Some of these young guys are here like little CJ can be a man. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and you don't mean that God can't bless you, brother. My niece, Jasmine, yeah. reading, she went on a little bit, thought talking about the parent. You don't know what God can do for you. That's right. That's right. He took me a old fool. He taught me the word of God. Come on, I'm talking about the God have, have, have blessed me and been around a little bit and learned some things. And learned so much from this great man right here. Yeah, right. He's, he's teaching me more things than I've ever learned before in my life. On, and I hope to do the same thing for the young people. Hopefully soon, Mike can teach them a little, a little bit of Hebrew. Mm -hmm. All right. Let them learn with some Hebrew. Uh, teach them little stories. And, and, and maybe if I can show them the Hebrew alphabet and show them what they're all sounding, how to put words together, and how the Hebrew thoughts are. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it ain't the Holy Ghost, but it's, 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 it's a little extra knowledge for them. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, to, to teach them. You know, why we serve Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly. Teach them the power of the cross. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when Jesus got up from the dead, yeah. he gave us gifts. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be our responsibility to make sure that the young people yeah. are operating their gifts. Yeah. So young people, let nobody despise you of your youth. Thank you so much for listening to me. And may God bless you and keep you. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Did you enjoy the word of God today? Amen. Than that. Yeah. 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 Things that are taking place not only just in the world but in the lives of our young people and no doubt even in the lives of our adults. So the most important thing that we can share with you today is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I want you to know this. I don't want you to have my testimony where I grew up in church because I was raised in church. It was assumed that I was saved. It was assumed that I had given my life to Christ and I hadn't until I got much older. 
So I want you to do this. If you, if I'm talking to you and you've never given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to do this. All you have to do, this is the formula. All you have to do is admit to the Lord that you're a sinner. And it can be just as simple as you saying, Lord, I'm a sinner. You don't have to get on your knees. You can be sitting down. You can be standing up. Your posture is not as important as it is the words that come out of your mouth. We need for you to declare that Jesus Christ will become Lord in your life. And so if you're a sinner, you, you admit to the Lord that you're a sinner. And then the next thing you have to do is accept the fact that Jesus Christ died and that he rose again on the third day on your behalf to cover your sins. And we base that upon what's mentioned to us in Romans chapter 10, beginning at verse 9. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. That's it. If you have done that, no matter what type of way you, you shared it, the Bible says thou shalt be saved. I believe you are saved. And so the next thing you need to do is to get to a good church home. If you're in Maryland, come on and see about us here at 5116 Rice's Town uh, Road, where yours truly is the senior pastor here. We'll take good care of you. Amen. And I promise you, as a result of sitting and hearing good word, um, applying that good word to your life, your life will change and be better forevermore. However, if you're not in Maryland, you can't get here, get to a good church home and do the rest of what Pastor Smith shared and watch God make a difference in your life. And our best English as we close out every single Sabbath. Come on, help me out, congregation. You ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come. God bless you.